Representing the bay boat category, the Creval 26 Open has an overall length of 25 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Built for fishing along the mangroves or in blue water, she has a draft of 12 to 14 inches, a dead rise of 16 degrees, a dry weight of 4,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 90 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, we got a great day lined up here today. We're on the Creval 26 Hybrid Blue Water. You know, Rick, we love everything Creval brings us, and you know, today is no exception. As people have really moved this boat into the offshore arena, the boat is proving itself to be super efficient and a great blue water boat as well. So we're gonna get a chance today to do a little bit of fishing offshore and then take the family back inside and have a little bit of a picnic play kind of uh, activity day on the, on the sandbar. Yes, the gunnels are the perfect height to blue water fish. She's got outriggers, she's ready, she's laid out, but she only draws 14 inches of water. It turns around after an offshore day and it's ready to get skinny. I love the fact that the family is here today on the boat because what better way to show off the entire lifestyle of the boat? All right, well, I've got a great idea. Let's start by putting something in that coffin box. I'm ready to go fishing. You ready? Let's do it. When Creval Boats originally introduced their 26 open model, this was a boat that was designed to be a crossover boat that would take you inshore fishing and near coastal fishing with just a little bit of offshore fishing built into it. As a lot more boaters have used this boat, its usefulness in the blue water has become much more apparent and it made sense for Creval to build an addition of this boat that was tailored more towards people that want to spend a lot of time in the blue water. In the last few years, we've seen an explosion in what we call hybrids. At the top of this list has got to be the Creval 26. This is a new boat from a relatively new company, but boy, if they got this thing dialed in. I couldn't wait to take it offshore. You see dark fabric on a boat, you instantly think, oh man, that sun is gonna be beating down on that. They use a heat reflective material that really provides a cool feeling, especially on your skin, on the seat when you go to sit down. So I gotta say, this was a winner for me. All of Corral's boats are laid out with a very smart and stylish helm design. Now the 26 HBW is no different. Another thing about this boat is, performance-wise, they're all fun to drive. This boat ran like a champ and powered with a 350 Mercury was also very economical. The boat jumped out of the hole, got us to 30 miles an hour cruising almost instantly, and gave us three miles per gallon fuel efficiency, which is remarkable. Chad Garros has been with us for a number of years with Creval. He's a great guy, and we put him on his first sailfish. And let me tell you, this fish was hot, and he was running 360s around the boat. Even though the boat is loaded with features, it's completely uncluttered. Handling this fish from that boat was a snap. Not having the standard U-shaped seating up on the boat doesn't mean you're not comfortable. They use the coffin box as a full sun lounge with a removable backrest, and it had cushioning. Very comfortable. The Garros always fish together as a family, and that is really a neat thing. And let me tell you, having their boys running up and down the decks of those boats that sea deck was great on their feet. It was easy to clean up the blood off of it, and it just made the day more comfortable for everybody. The stern seating today, you have a 40-inch bench seat, perfect for two. And then you fold that down, it rests between two live wells, so you have an open casting platform for fishing. You know, even though this Creval 26 made a great family boat, it certainly wasn't short on fishing features. Tackle station behind the helm was excellent. The cutting board is right there, easy to rinse off. We're able to rig baits and get them out. There wasn't much we couldn't do with this boat from offshore or once we brought it back inshore. They had a sunshade for the stern and the bow. It literally covers the entire boat. I could not have been happier, especially having kids. It made it for such a great day on the water where we could actually stay out even longer. Guys, I love it when a plan comes together. We had a plan today for the Creval 26 HBW, and it worked out to a charm. Why is that, Rick? They were convinced that this boat would perform perfectly offshore, and it did. Think about it. We had a full family on the boat. We had a hot sailfish going around. Couldn't have gone any better. Today, I jumped on at the sandbar, and I set up lunch for everybody. Three coolers I got to work with today. You had a fish in the fish box, but I had drinks in this box. I had food in the other box. And when you're done for the day, everything you can lock up. Rods, you don't gotta carry them back to the hotel room. Wonderful locking system on this boat. 
I really got a chance to dig into the ride on this boat and you know like every Corval I've ever had the opportunity to run it didn't disappoint me one bit and you know Corval recently started using a resin infusion process in their construction and you can absolutely feel the difference in the ride on this boat the boat rode like a champ I mean there's nothing to complain about on the ride of this boat if you want a boat that's going to make a family happy between your blue water trips that you're going to thoroughly enjoy the Corval 26 HPW has got to be on your list